What up? It's me, Tiny Pirate Gaming, and this is a tutorial video that's going to cover how to find all of the milk molars in a specific region. For tutorials on other regions, check out the playlist linked down in the description for all your milk molar collecting needs. Now let's go grab some molars. The next region we're covering is the hedge, which can be found in the southeast corner of the yard. In this region, you can find six milk molars and three mega milk molars. Atop the electrical socket along the wall of the house, located between the house's porch and the hedge, is a hard-to-reach molar that can be platformed to with enough patience. Or, you could just build a clover ramp to save yourself the frustration. Here it is on the map. This next molar can be found atop the apricot puncho landmark wedged up in the branches of the hedge. In order to reach it, you'll need to make your way up into the branches following the winding weaving path as if you were going to the hedge lab. When you find the juice box, you can go around behind it and from there you'll be able to platform your way up some leaves and eventually onto the top of the box. You'll probably need to use a dandelion glider and try to land on the downward sloping edge of the juice box, but if the platforming is too frustrating, you can also build a ramp to reach it. And what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't show you this? Here it is on the map. This next molar is super easy to get because it's found on the ground level of the hedge, located in the southeastern corner of the map, between the fence and the wall of the house. Here it is on the map. The next molar is located in the hedge lab and you'll need to open up some of the doors in order to reach it. Make your way through the lab, bashing open the web-covered doors until you reach the highest room where you'll find shelves of resources and a zipline. By using this zipline, you'll be able to drop down onto the top of the hedge lab's corridors. The molar is located on top of the lab's highest module, so you'll need to follow the corridor up through some branches in order to reach it. Here it is on the map. This next molar is much easier to get and is located on the ground level of the hedge inside of one of the broken lab module hallways. There's usually a bunch of spiders in this area, so watch yourself. Here it is on the map. This molar is found up in the branches close to the hedge lab and can be located wedged between some branch twigs and leaves that stick out over the rest of the yard. You can get here by using the top of the hedge lab and making your way through the branches in the back. This is actually the same path that you'll need to take to get the recipe for the Broodmother BLT, and the molar can be found directly beneath of the scientific observation pod where the recipe is located. Here it is on the map. In order to get this mega molar, you'll need to get up onto the birdbath. Like many other places around the yard, there's different ways to do this, but the fastest and easiest way is to simply build a clover ramp. Once you reach the top, the mega molar can be found on the back corner of the birdbath's lower tier. Here it is on the map.
There's another Mega Molar found in the Hedge Lab, and the easiest way to reach it is to start from the bottom door, which will be open if you perform the biometric scanner when first ziplining into the lab's breached area. If you follow the hallway up, you'll come across a broken section in the wall, and outside of this breach, you'll find the Mega Molar perched on a branch that's beneath of a zipline. Here it is on the map. The final Mega Molar in the Hedge region is located on the ground level beneath of the Hedge Lab. If you travel north from here, you'll discover a stone cliff that separates the Hedge from the Moldork region of the Upper Yard. Tucked along this wall, you'll find the golden tooth-shaped vitamin that's seemingly guarded by a lone stink bug and sometimes some orb weaver spiders. Here it is on the map. And that's how you find all the milk molars in this region of Grounded. Don't forget to like and subscribe! You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, and join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord to discuss Grounded gaming content creation and more along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether I see you here in the comments, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else across the streamiverse, just know that I appreciate all of your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Or maybe, watch your step. There be a tiny pirate here.